So probability, so the question is, I guess the statement is you have an equally likely chance of picking any integer one through 20. First question is, what's the probability when you choose one of those numbers that the number is odd? How did you solve that? First off, did you make a list? What are the possible numbers? <laughs> right, one, two, three, four, five. But you didn't write that, write it now. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's our set, right? So what's the probability of anything happening? When we do, a, do probabilities, the probability of any event is the probability is a fraction. What is it? Yeah, it's number of ways to get what you're looking for, right, over yeah, total outcome. <clears throat> so what are the, how many outcomes are there? You're going to pick a number. How many choices do you have for numbers to pick from? How many numbers are possible? You reach in to get a number, how many? So it's 20. 20 is this, isn't it? So now what's this? What's the number of ways to get an odd number? Well, what are the odd numbers? <clears throat> really, the odd numbers? One, three, five. How many numbers did you just choose? This is that counting part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many? Right, ten, right? I thought somebody said nine. And Richard, you said that's what? One half or point five, right? Fifty percent. Or fifty percent. Right? What's the next one say? Probability that you get a what kind of number? Less than seven, so probability of less than seven. Well, how many numbers are how many numbers are possible? We're using this up here again, aren't we? There. Well, that's okay. How many? T what are the total number of outcomes? Still twenty. And how many of them are less than seven? Six of them are. Number one, number two, three, four, five, and six. So six, which is equal to what? Three tenths. Point thirty or thirty percent, right? Another one. What's the next one? Perfect square. Perfect square. So probability of perfect square. This is a good SAT question. What's a perfect square? Okay. What would that, yeah, good, what would that equal? So take the numbers that we have, right? We have one times one, so one is a perfect square. What else is a perfect square? Say that again. Two is not a perfect square because if it's a perfect square, then you put a number in here, Tony, and you could get a perfect answer back like four. Square root of four is two, good job, right? Square root of, look, square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 9 is 3. So go back and look at this and ask yourself the question. Here's our list. Do you know what the square root of 1 is, yes or no? So that's a perfect square, isn't it? So here's a perfect square. Do you know what the square root of 2 is? No. Square root of 3. Square root of 4, so it's a perfect square. Square root of 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What's the next one? Say it again. 16, right? And the next one would be 20, would be 25, but we don't have 25 as a possibility, do we? So count how many we have. One, two, three, just four, is that right? Did I miss something? I got them all. Yeah, I got them all, right? So how many were there? How many? Four over 20, which is equal to two-tenths, or equal to 0.20, or 
or equal to 20%. Good? What's the next one? Prime numbers. You have your list? Go to your list. What are the prime numbers here? There's a trick here, isn't there? This is a great SAT question because there's a trick. What number do you think might be prime, but you realize it's actually not prime? One. Is one prime? One is not prime. It's not prime and it's not composite. It's neither. So if one doesn't count. Is two prime? What else? So three. What else? Five. Seven. Oh, good job. Eleven. Yep, thirteen. Good job, May. Seventeen. Shashiani. Good job, good job, good job, good job. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? Oh, good job. I missed one. So how many? Eight. Good job. Good job, good job. So equals eight over 20, which is what? <clears throat> Say it again. Two fifths. That doesn't help me as much. Four tenths does because it helps me make my decimal fraction. You know what I mean? Yeah. So four tenths, or what percent? Forty percent, right? Good job. All right. 